Have you seen our free video lesson on compound interest? If you have, then you're ready for your quiz. That's what we're going to talk about today. Hi there! Thank you for checking out my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. If this is the first video that you're watching from my channel, I make educational and motivational content. So if you don't want to miss any of my new uploads, don't forget to hit subscribe and hit that bell icon. Now, like I said in the intro kanina, this is your quick quiz on the topic ng compound interest. I had to split the video up kasi masyadong mahaba kung i-include ko yung quick quiz in the other video. Pero if hindi nyo pa yung napapanood, don't forget to click right here sa i button. Panoorin nyo muna yung lesson para matutunan nyo yung formula and how to solve it before you jump into this. And if you're ready, yun yung gagawin natin ngayon. I'm going to give you time to answer the quiz and then at the end of yung allotted time, I'm going to explain kung paano makuha yung tamang sagot. Alright? Now, just a quick little plug. If you want to reach out to me directly, get the reviewers that I made, join the online or live events, you can go to www.facebook.com slash teamlika for more information. And uh, that way, makakausap ko kayo directly. Alright? Now that we have that out of the way, I'm going to jump into my PC so I can give you your quiz and I'll see you in a bit. Alright, welcome sa quick quiz na ating yung uh, lesson on compound interest. If you haven't seen the lesson yet, nakalink siya sa i button sa taas. And if you're ready with your pen and paper, you have five minutes for all three questions, including your ating challenge question at the end. And your timer starts now.
All right, let's see how you did. So, ito yung ating first question. Sabi, an initial deposit of 150000 is made into a savings account that compounds 6% interest quarterly. How much is in the account at the end of two years? So, i-fill in lang natin yung information na hinahanap. So, ang hinahanap is yung accrued amount. So, we'll leave it at that. Yung ating principal amount, yung una niyang pinuhunan is 150000 So, yun yung ilalagay natin, 150000 Tapos, ito ay multiply natin dito. We have 1 plus R is the rate of interest, so 6%. Over yung number of times na ito ay uh, compound sa isang taon. Sabi dito, quarterly, no? So, kung quarterly siya, ibig sabihin 4 times in a year. So, we have 4 right here. Close natin ito. Yung isang exponent, 4. Tapos, imumultiply natin yan. Dun sa T or the time. Ang time ay 2 years. So, siya ay... 2. Now that we have that, isosolve lang natin. So, we have A is equal to 150,000. Okay. So, again, kaya very zen din mag-solve uh, ng math problems kasi repetitive task siya. Tapos, it requires your focus. So, it's a great way of uh, dealing with yung current situation natin right now. No? So, 6% divided by 4. Ang 6% uh, divided by 4 is going to give you 0 0.015. 4 times 2 is 8. So again, ibababa na natin yung next. We have 150,000 times. 1 plus 0 0.015 is 1.015 raised to 8. So solve natin to. Okay? So A is equal to 150,000. Tapos, 1.13. Imumultiply lang natin yan. So A is equal to... 168,973.89 pesos. Okay? So, yan yung ating answer. Alright? So, again, uh, ang importante dito is yung formula, yung attention to detail, and making sure that you have the right information plugged in dun sa tamang slot nila, dun sa formula. Okay? So, I hope you got that, right? Let's move on to the next question. So, question number two, sabi, how much should be deposited into an account earning 4.7% compounded quarterly so that the balance will be 1 million pesos in 20 years. Okay? So, i-solve uh, natin ito. This time, ang nawawala is yung initial deposit. Yan ay yung ating puhunan. Okay? So, yung 1 million, yun yung gusto mong maging after 20 years. So, siya yung actually, siya yung accrued total. So, A. So, dito natin siya ilalagay. 1 million okay, is equal to yung P natin, nawawala, siya ang magiging X. Tapos, you have 1 Plus, and then yung R over N natin, ang rate is 4.7% over N, which is sabi dito, quarterly siya. So, ibig sabihin yan ay dapat maging 4. Tapos, you have 4 right here, times yung time. Ang time natin is 20 years. So, ibig sabihin, ang lalagay natin dito is 20. Okay. Now, isosolve lang natin siya. Ibababa natin lahat. I'll just put 1 million dito para lang mas mabilis tayo. You have X. Okay. Tapos, you have 1 plus. Now, 4.7% divided by 4. It's actually going to give you uh, 0 0.017 something, 1.8. So, you have here, ganyan. Tapos, 4 times 20 is 80. So, ang exponent niya ay 80. So, 1 million is equal to X. Tapos, you have 1.0 one eight raised to 80. 1 million is equal to X. Tapos, ito ay magiging 2.55. Okay? So, 1.018 uh, raised to 80 is 2.55. Divide that in both sides by 2.55 para makancel natin to at maiwan yung X. So, X is equal to 1 million divided by 2.55 which is 392,000. 774.20. Okay? So, yun yung ating sagot. Alright? Now, it's a little bit trickier kapag ang nawawala is your R, N, or T. Kasi mas komplikado na siya. Which is kind of what happened dun sa ating challenge question. Yung number 3, sabi, after a year with interest compounded every 6 months, so ito ay twice a year, an account has 10,302.25 pesos. If the original deposit is 10,000, what is the interest rate? So interest rate ang hinahanap 
Yun yung green. Okay? So, ipa-plug in natin lahat ng information. Ang accrued amount is 10,302.25. Equal siya sa P, ang principal amount natin unang puhunan ay 10,000. Tapos, you have your 1 plus, now yung R, magiging X kasi nawawala siya. Tapos, over N, ang N natin is every 6 months, so dalawa ito. Tapos, you have here pa rin 2 times kung ilang taon siya mangyayari. Ang T natin here, sabi dito, a year. So, kung a year, that is just one year. So, one lang siya. Now, we solve. Now, 10,302.25 is equal to 10,000. Tapos, ito magiging 1 plus x over 2. Now, para mapagsama ko sila, para mamaya ay ma-exponent ko, ang gagawin ko dyan, kukunin ko yung least common denominator niya. This is 1 over 1. Ang least common denominator nila is 2. So, gagawin ko 2 divided by 1 times 1. That would be 2 plus x. So, yan yung magiging laman ng ating parentheses. Now, kung na-confuse kayo dito, okay, hanapin nyo yung ating series on fractions. Yun yung fundamentals dito sa part na yan. Okay, kukunin mo yung LCD para mapagsama mo sila dyan. Now that we have that, pwede na natin siya erase sa 2. Bakit 2? Kasi 2 times 1 is 2. Now again, kaya masaya at uh, very relaxing din ang algebra kasi ikakopy lang natin yan. 10,302.25 is equal to, and then now you have 10,000. Tapos multiply natin ngayon, etong 2 plus x, yan, over 2, imumultiply mo siya sa kanyang sarili. So 2 plus x over 2. Now, pag nagmumultiply ka ng fractions, uh, ang ginagawa lang natin dyan basically is mumultiply mo yung nasa taas, sa nasa taas, at nasa baba, sa nasa baba. So, pwede ko siya isulat like this. So, 10,302.25 is equal to 10,000. Tapos, you have 2 plus x times 2 plus x. Okay. Next, you have 2 times 2 dito sa ilalim. So, yun din yung magiging denominator niya. That would be 4. Now, there is another technique that you can use yung multiplying and dividing fractions by cancellation. Kasi basically, this is 10,000 over 1. Imumultiply ko siya dito sa mahabang ito over 4. Now, para mas madali, i-divide ko na lang ito pareho sa 4. Ika-cancel ko siya. So, this will be 2,500. Ito magiging 1 na lang siya. Now, bakit ko yung ginawa? Kasi mas madali tingnan kung wala ng fraction dun sa right side. It will leave me with this. You have 10,302.25 equals 2,500 times yung ating 2 plus x. Okay? Times 2 plus, plus x or 2 plus x squared na lang. Okay? Now, ang goal ko is maiwan yung x sa isang side. Na anong pwede kong gawin dito? Dahil may 2,500 dito, actually, pwede ko to i-divide the entire thing sa 2,500. That way, makakancel ko ito. Tapos, maiiwan yung 2 plus x, yung quantity 2 plus x squared sa right side. Okay? So, ang mangyayari dyan, uh, ibuburahin ko lang to para may space tayo. Okay? So, this is the continuation nito. We will be left with yung 10,302.25 divided by 25. That is 4.1209 equals, tas equal siya sa quantity 2 plus x squared. Okay, now, dahil squared ito, para mawala yung square na yan, is square root ko both sides. Okay, so this will be 2 plus x na lang. Tapos ang square root naman ng 4.1209 is going to give me 2.03. Okay? That's equal siya. Para maiwan yung x sa kabilang side, ililipat ko yung 2 doon. So, this will be x. That's, this will be 2.03 minus 2. This is just basic algebra. Again, if you haven't seen yung ating series on that, nakalink naman din siya sa taas at sa description box natin. So, you have x is equal to 2.03 minus 2, which is 0 0.03. Or... Okay, this is just the same as 3%. Now, yung mga na-confuse dun sa conversion na yan, meron na tayong video din on converting decimals into a percentage and stuff like that. Watch the other videos na lang. So, the answer here is 3%. I hope you got that right, okay? Now, if you didn't, that's okay. I'll be posting more questions on my Instagram account through your Instagram 
uh, story natin. So, you can participate doon. Follow me at Laika Maravilla for more drills on this and other topics that I already discussed. Pati yung mga upcoming mga lessons natin. It's a great way for me to know kung natututo kayo and a great way then for you to know kung kayo ay nag improve Alright? Follow me at Laika Maravilla for more updates as well. Okay? Alright! I hope you learned something today. If you did, click thumbs up. Make sure that you share this video with your friends. Lalo na kung mag-exam din sila. Dati mas marami tayong matutulungan to learn from home. And uh, if you want to reach out to me directly, get the reviewers, join the online or live review events that we have scheduled, you can go to www.facebook.com slash Team Laika to find out more information on that. And again, thank you to all of us who Team Laika by buying our merch. Uh, thank you for helping me in this cause to democratize education in the Philippines. You can go to shop.teamlaika.com to order yours. Right now, let me know if you get your own shirt, your hoodie, your cap. Wear it. Tag me sa inyong pictures online. I'd love to see you wear the merch that I designed. Thank you so much and uh, thank you for supporting this cause to make um, more free lessons for all the Filipinos out there who want to learn. And if you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to subscribe. Hit that bell icon na for all of your notifications and make sure that you have your notifications on, on your device. Device para malaman niyo kapag may mga bago tayong mga lessons. I will try to make as many of these as possible hanggat kaya ko. And uh, as we always see sa team na to, never stop learning. Aja-aja. Kain niyan. I'll see you in the next video and bye for now.